All right, this is day two. I I Expo. That's origin. No one dares sleep for fear of missing something incredible.
live events and exhibitions. Area 18. 2949. Things were changing. Okay, that's all their commercials. And we're still the war at home. And it was Gatsby. Today is the origin day. So you get this big, massive monster here. The 890 jump. Oh, dang it. Not a whole lot on the floor, but... Yes, the 890 jump is this huge ship. I think it's one of the largest ships you can get now. It's a large touring luxury yacht type ship. Featured in that commercial, it showed all the fancy stuff in it. Here's its little brother, the 600i, which is another luxury touring. Just on a smaller scale. They're both very nice ships, but they're very large, expensive ships. And over here, which is basically their entry level ship. I believe the 100 series are, are all entry level. So these would be their starter ships if you wanted to do them as a starter ship. They're very sleek, nice looking ships with good amenities. But problem is, is, even though they do have a decent amount of guns on them, they're not very hard hitting, they're not very durable, they're fast, but that's all I can really say about them is they're fast and they look really nice, quite frequently have some nice features. But in a current system where you make most of your currency either by hauling cargo or fighting or something to that effect, having the little pretty ship that's fast but can't fight when it gets into trouble is not very effective until you get into these big things because they can hold their own because just their sheer size. So let's go downstairs real quick. But Origin is a luxury brand, so everything they do is just pretty and sleek. Oh, M50, so this would be their racer or interdictor. Because it's another one that's super fast, it's sleek, it does have guns on it, and can be quite the annoying little attacker. But when it comes to an actual fight, they're too fragile to really hold up to a big fight. Okay, the X1. So this is their their version of a one-person mobility vehicle like the Dragonfly or the Ranger bike. It's still in white box as well as their little war buggy. So the Origin G12A. So another 
very well appointed, very well you know, designed, beautiful vehicle set up for fight. Oh, here's their version of a like a snub or carrier ship. Yeah, touring. So this is a ship you buy to put in your 890 jump or your 600 I. So it's a great ship to pair with that great big monstrosity of a ship. So that you can not have to take that huge ship down into a gravity well to, you know, go visit the planet. You can jump into a little ship, go visit the planet, and just go back up to orbit and catch that and land in it and take off. Because it has its own landing deck, it has a cargo deck, has huge amounts of uh, like storage as well as luxury apartments, luxury meal area, uh, it has a bar, it has a big open meeting area, it's just a massive ship and it's beautiful gotta give them that. They're all really nice looking ships. It's just at this current point in the game, their purpose is a little limited. Here's a 300i, so this is your jump up from the starter ship. And this version is for racing. And that's one of the things I like about them is they all do like three fr three flavors. One's a racing, one's a exploration, one's fighting. Now this is an interdictor, so light, fast, hit and run ship. A nice Gatlin canning up front and two side looks like laser cannons. This guy here is kind of a love-hate one. I love the idea. I love the size. But the problem is, is it's got gunner seats. So you have turret gunners in the back. You come up here to the pilot-mounted guns, and they're right here. So you're going after your target. He's directly in front of you. Great. If he veers off even a little off the center beam, you only have one gun that can hit him because the nose is so up there that you're, even though they're a gimbaled gun, you can't shoot around the nose of the ship. So it limits your attack power because of it. But, on the other hand, it is a beautiful looking ship. Looks like a big super yacht. So, up here... These are what? Yeah, the more 300 series. So, this is your touring. And this... Is your Pathfinder, so your Explorer. So that is the run through of the Origins ships for today. And they're beautiful ships, they're well appointed, good ships, but they do have limitations give up a lot of functionality for beauty and aesthetics. Alright, I hope you had a good time. I will talk to you all later.